Hi Church. As the cold weather has started to descend on us and with the COVID rates increasing in our community, in our counties, and around the state, we've had to start making some really difficult decisions. And we've all agreed that we don't like this. We all are on the same page when it comes to not wanting to wear our masks, not wanting to have to social distance. We all agree that we want to be together and we want to use our voices to respond to God's greatness and God's goodness in song and in prayer. These things we can agree on. But we've come to a time in our life and in 2020 when we've had to make hard choices, when we've had to do things that maybe we don't necessarily want to do, but we know is in the best interest of the community. And so, after lots of conversation with the SMART team, with the council, and with various uh, entities like the Department of Minnesota Department of Health, the CDC, and some of the things that we're seeing coming out of even things like Church Mutual, our insurance company. Together, with the data that we have and the conversations we've had, we have decided to move all of our ministry onto, an, onto uh, the internet, onto, a, onto our virtual platforms. This includes worship. Because the virus is now widespread in our community, because we love one another and want to seek the best for our neighbors, and because God walks with us even when we are, our feet are fumbling and our hearts are breaking, we feel this is the best decision for us as a community of Living Waters. So we'll still be engaging with one another. We'll still be reaching out and connecting in a variety of ways. We'll just be doing so through all of the wonderful technology we have, through phone calls and cards, through um, the ways in which our hearts are connected even when we are apart. I know this is hard news. I don't wanna give it to you. I don't wanna speak it. I would rather us just be able to push it aside. But I love you too much and God loves you too much for us to turn a blind eye to the needs of our neighbor, to the needs of one another in this unprecedented time. And so I'm reminded of Hebrews 12 verse 1. This is what it says. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that cling, clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We can only do this together. And so be on the lookout for a variety of ways to connect with us here at Living Waters through worship, which will be on Facebook, on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel, and on our website every week, along with some, mm, we'll call them surprises. You'll find out about those later. May God's peace surround you, that peace that surpasses all understanding. And know that I am praying for you as God holds us in this time of wondering about what is next. Be well. Take care. God bless.